Hello everybody and welcome back to the Arabian area in Camel Kingdom uh, which is called Mebat Al Khamal and I, I really hope again that it's uh, spelled correctly. Um, first of all, uh, I, I just want to say thank you for all the response last time. I'm, uh, I really appreciate all the comments and you know uh, you've all been waiting for this area obviously after the poll on Twitter told me so. Um, I was well of aware of the fact that you guys wanted to you know have this kind of series in a way and I'm I'm, I'm really thankful uh, for all the comments and uh, I just want to say yeah if you do want to leave a comment below please don't hesitate to do so we are uh, trying to well, well, I mean I am trying to get as much into my series as possible out of your comments so for example from last time I, I really want to go into some of the comments from the last episode because it's it was really interesting to read what you guys think of it and all, also to, to see your ideas and um, yeah basically I, I I still think that a lot of things that have been mentioned within the comments are already planned uh, but obviously you can't see that because I um, you know my recordings are my are most often done quite a lot of time before the actual episode is going to be there so um, I, I just want to quickly to to get back to the last episode. So first of all, um, I, I just I just told you also last time that it will be a tiny little bit different because I will this time shape out the entire area first before we go into crazy details. But what I can confirm already is that we definitely gonna have um, a Arabian market. So basically that was my biggest idea about this area to be honest. Like I wanted to have this badly uh, and so uh, an, you know an Arabian market with some um, D different spices and different um, market stalls and kind of stuff like that. That could be really, really amazing. But yeah, anyways, um, I think also um, somebody mentioned it's the L2MOH, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it's the name. Uh, make a wing coaster there that should be cool there. Well, I can definitely tell you it won't be a ring wing coaster, but I'm gonna quickly uh, tell you something and I'm just, wait a second, I'm gonna look for the one. Oh yeah there we go it's wood hp i don't know if it's correctly spelled it's wood and the next name is ij pi well, i don't know um he commented you should make an uh, arabian themed dark ride water coaster something between the flying dutchman and fata morgana in the afterling um yeah, you nailed it, mate. You nailed it. This is basically the idea and I want to say a huge thank you also to um, Mr. S.P. Ridley because he was the one... Um, I was totally having a lot of ideas but I, I didn't really know which would be the best idea to go with this theme and um, yeah, he told me, mate, just wait for the water coaster and exactly that's what would you do. Um, I already prepared um, a special space, uh, which you won't see in this episode, it will be in the next one. Uh, but yeah, I, I already reserved the space for this and we will definitely make kind of a dark ride and this will be the main thing in this area. So I definitely want to go deep into this one uh, because apart from that we will just have a flat ride, maybe another flat ride and some uh, food and drink shops and a restaurant and that's it. Um, basically because I, I wanted to keep it themed as much as possible and really, you know, um, in a small dense area that is really giving you the immersion of being in a in a yeah, Arabian kind of area. And I think it helps to focus on some things instead of putting too much into it. And honestly, if you think of, of real theme parks, it's most often it seems that there is more in a themed area than it really is. So for example, if you go like in Disneyland, um, actually if you have for example the Frontierland, you don't have that many attractions in there, have you? I mean, it's just the haunted house and it's then again Big Santa Mountain and I believe it is already it, right? And yeah, it should be it because if you go to the Pirates of the Caribbean, for example, it's already in the next area. So you see it's an entire themed area. Maybe there's a show. Maybe I forgot about the show. But anyways, um, there is not much in one themed area. And so the Pirates area, as I said, also just featured two... Um, no, actually it featured three, but just two in-game attractions. Uh, no, three. Three, actually. It's the pirate ship, um, the little uh, whirly wick and the stand-up coaster. Alright, okay, then we have three and we have the pirate ship with the motion simulator in, but this can't be counted as an in-game attraction because it's not working. I just, 
you know, put in the uh, toilet so that people go in. But anyways, let's go back to what I am doing in this episode. As you may have seen already in the background, I was preparing a lot of stuff again. So I made different colored walls. I tried to keep the tone of them um, kind of the same, you know, desaturated Arabian colored uh, tone. It, it's definitely not uh, that they don't use colors and we will go definitely into a lot of colors when we do the um, market in a way, but uh, I think the walls, especially because of the sun, um, they are kind of bright and desaturated to keep the you know heat away. And yeah, that's basically one important thing to yeah just keep in mind when you build an Arabian area like that. So they, they won't ever use two dark colors for the outside. But I wanted to have some variety in it and this is why I just went with different colored wall sets and I prepared them so that I can reuse them later on. They are all based on a normal 4 meters tiled set but uh, then again I just remove the grid piece so I can freely use those wall later on. And you will definitely see in this episode we use them quite a lot to get the area a little bit more in detail. But also I have to say I just wanted to make a little gate which we can also use. Um, this will separate the market area from the rest of the area and this one will be used quite often. Um, and I have to say in the end I'm really happy with the outcome of this one. Uh, it, it looks quite nice I have to say. Um, I really I really like how the little books and um, the color of the walls do work together. And as you can see, I just measured as it shortly before, so it really fits around um, the little pathway over there. So we do have, as you can see now, we will have now uh, this entrance gate over here, which the pathway will then lead up onto a restaurant area, which we will definitely have uh, on top of this little building around the flat ride. So it will be, as I said, really dense and really close together. So we will have the surrounding kind of theme and um, how yeah, how should we call it? I think it's, it's definitely it is a ride skin, but the ride skin itself will be the castle or the palace, which then effectively will also have a restaurant embodied, so that we have in the end a really interesting shape to look at. So it, it is the big palace, but the flat ride is really, you know, worked into it. And also you can see this little gate over here will feature then a kind of little tunnel uh, which the tunnel is then the entrance area of the flat ride. So as I said, I, I wanted to keep this all as interesting as possible. So I, I just made the little queue line in here to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, wanted to let it be underneath the other path so that the entrance is kind of hidden away. So as you have it in real theme parks, sometimes you see the attraction or the flat ride or the coaster, but you don't really see where the entrance is. And I kind of wanted to do this over here as well. And now we we are coming to a point where I had a little bit of a trial and error. I wanted to use those, uh, I don't know, what is this exactly? It's kind of a sugar cane thingy. No, it's not actually, it's kind of a waffle thing. Anyways, um, it's, it's you know, the, this kind of thing I thought would be working nice together, but my biggest issue with them was the reflection of it. Like we have the, um, the wall set, which is really, yeah, it doesn't really reflect that much. You know, it's, it's really, um, how is it called, mud. It, it's really mud. And um, then again, the little things which had a nice texture, but the texture was way too glossy. So I tried a little bit around with different pieces to come up with an inter um, interaction that is a little bit more interesting, but not as much different in terms of um, lighting and reflections. And so in the end, I just went with the spooky, uh, I believe it's the spooky plank, which is nice, by the way. I, I love the spooky plank because it adds so much to the game because we now have two different kind of planks which have such a different texture to it. And I think this adds really a lot of variety to it because normally you would have always the same plank, which is not that bad because you can recolor it because of the texture. Then again, it's a little bit, you know, after time it gets a little bit more boring to watch because it's, you will, your eye will notice that it is different uh, from what you um, have and, and that's the good thing about another plank. If you just have always the same, you would notice that after a time it is always repeating. And so it's good to have at least a second one. And yeah, I, I wouldn't mind to have even more. So yeah, basically give us more planks because I know that plank already. 
a little pun over here. Anyways, um, yeah, as I said, let's go back to, to the build because it's, it's really interesting because I had a little bit of struggle to put it in, but I knew that this will be a really interesting and um, also hard build in the end because I needed to do it as I do it over here really um, in detail going into the um, nitty gritty bit of it because I need to, you know, I, I don't have that fixed angle. It's, it's all a little bit off center and off grid which is really cool to look at later on um, I, I really wanted to make it a little more natural and making it natural also means to get rid of the grid okay that was really hard to pronounce for me i'm really sorry if that sounded weird um, so yeah as i said i i just wanted to make sure this is really interacting with the flat right so as you can see now it's slowly shaping up what we are heading for we do have this little flat right on the right hand side and don't worry we will be recoloring it and also putting something in the middle of it i just need to run it a few times to see how it behaves and where we can put stuff in the middle but we will definitely put a kind of onion roof uh, in the middle of it as well and and have some more interaction with the palace itself but now moving on, uh, the restaurant has to be a little bit more interesting and also this is already preparing for the market because the market will be below this little open area over here as you can see. The whole area of this one should be the market. You would just, just get into the Arabian area and then you will have this market going on immediately and I hope um, by putting so many shops on here we will have a lot of people then being there because that adds a lot to a marketplace atmosphere. But yeah, without um, talking too much about what's going on in the future, let's keep uh, on doing what we are doing over here. You can see that I'm trying to continue laying out um, the entire area a tiny little bit. So as you can see, I put some shops over there and also put then again some more of the fronts uh, to it already, having a nice little uh, balcony now on top of the shops. Um, I think this all adds to it. it. It definitely lacks some details still because I, as I said, I just wanted to bring the whole thing together before we go too much into detail but I think you can already tell in which direction it's going to head and um, I have to say with every hour I play in in this area I'm, I'm more pleased with it and I have a lot of progress already so I believe we will have another episode within the week so maybe on Wednesday I don't really know the big issue would be cutting at the moment cutting and recording my commentaries but since we do have two days off in Germany um, this week it might be possible that we will have another episode um, but yeah if not it's on Saturday as usual but I just wanted to let you know that progress is going on quite well. So uh, yeah, I, I really hope you appreciate how it turned out so far. Because as I said, I'm happy with it. And it, it, it's kind of seldom that I'm that happy with an area at the beginning. Because normally, and that's something I already told talked about quite a lot. At the Yeah, as a normal kind of work progress for me, it's always that it is looking quite strange at the beginning because my workflow is kind of different i'm not i'm not that kind of guy that is going to you know have a big of a plan i kind of have so many ideas that that's true and i, I do have some inspiration but i i kind of you know go along with my flow and and see what we can do with it and then later on i'm trying to bring it all together but this time i really had a plan about this area and i i do have to say that i'm really pleased with how it comes together because yeah, having a plan is not always easy uh, because you have to stick to it. <laughs> it's what a plan does, essentially. But yeah, uh, just what I wanted to say is that it's sometimes a problem because maybe some things don't work out. But in this case over here, it does work out everything quite perfectly. So yeah, I'm really happy with the outcome. And I am also really happy with all the colors and how it works together. And I have to say, the performance is also still okay, even though the, the entire building has around 13k pieces already. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you as a blueprint, but I have to say, I, I don't know how to do it in the end, but I I think I do have to do at least two blueprints out of it. Um, I mean, 13k is not kind of fair, because I still have everything on the right hand side as a module set, so that will be deleted later on, so we will be around 10k pieces I believe. But anyways, that's already it with this episode, I do need to cut it over here, because it will be a tiny little bit different than next time, so I, I needed to find a spot where I can end the episode and give you a screenshot to see the progress, and yeah, next episode will be a lot more 
interesting in terms of what's being uh, seen at the end of it. And I hope you still enjoy the series and as always, um, please leave a like or comment below or well, it's more important if you guys comment because that's what really helps me a lot. So leave me your comment, what you think and um, yeah, we'll hear each other in the next episode. Stay tight guys and see you then or hear you then in the next episode. Bye bye.